Hello, and welcome to Inventor's Quick Tips. In this episode, we are going to talk about a patent that was awarded to Michael Jackson. Yes, this Michael Jackson, a child star with the Jackson 5 and later a phenomenal solo career up until his untimely death in 2009. In addition to his musical achievements, he was also awarded a U.S. patent. And since this channel is about patents and innovation, that is what we are going to take a look at. What he patented and why. In the late 1980s, Michael Jackson put out a music video for the song Smooth Criminal, where he did this gravity-defying 45-degree lean. Now, in the comfort of a studio, this illusion could be performed with the help of wires, careful editing, and other special effects. However, Michael Jackson was interested in the possibility of doing something like this in a live show. So he, along with two other co-inventors, came up with an idea on how to do this live. So here is the cover page of his patent that was awarded to Michael Jackson and his two co-inventors in 1993. As you can see here, the heel of his shoe had a special groove in it. And that groove would engage with these pegs protruding from a stage floor. For someone sitting in an audience, the shoe would pretty much look like a normal shoe. But when engaged in the pins, it could theoretically allow a user to lean forward further than they could with regular shoes. Here is a graphic that shows the concept. Now, I have read that this is a difficult thing to do, even with the special shoes. And while Mr. Jackson may have been able to do it, you needed to be in really good shape to pull this off. So don't try this at home. So in summary, as always, let's review a few points to take away from this. First, there was a problem. While not everyone has this problem, Michael Jackson did have it. The problem of not being able to lean forward as far as he would like to. He identified the solution using the special shoes. And he, along with two co-inventors, patented the solution. And this point is purely speculation by me that he likely patented this to discourage others from using this invention. At the time he applied for this patent in 1992, he was already very accomplished, very wealthy. I don't think he needed the money or planned to start a business making these shoes to sell. Rather, it was an attempt to discourage others from making, using, or selling his invention. Remember that patents are basically a limited monopoly on an idea for a period of time, which is usually up to about 20 years in the United States. So hopefully you found this video interesting. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks again for watching.